Hey guys, happy to be back. Today we're gonna to be discussing the five for five challenge. I'm two days in on my challenge and today is the third day. I'm gonna go home and work on that third challenge and I wanna sort of break down how I'm doing. You know, this community where we're helping each other, we're building each other up. So I want you to come along for the ride. So let's, let's dive in to my five for five challenge day two and a half. Welcome back guys, so excited to have you here. We're breaking down the five for five challenge. Before we do, I just wanna welcome those new to the channel here. Uh, every every week we're getting some new followers and I love that. Welcome. The five for five challenge is really simple. You choose a goal, something you wanna work on, something that you wanna improve, something that you wanna add in your life, so somehow you want to grow. And you try to commit to five days in a row of fidelity to that thing. Could be a Twitter chat, could be you know writing a blog post could be something in your life like exercise my five for five this time was actually that I would do five new recipes one each day five days in a row in the school week that is not easy but I committed to it and as I said in the intro I am a couple days into that and like or I guess we're right at the halfway point today and I wanted to like tell you how this is and what I'm learning from this experience and hope to encourage some of you guys to do it which this five for five challenge we've got more people joining in and it's so exciting so thank you Andrew Easton for challenging me to do another five for five challenge you know this community it makes us better so thank you thank you Andrew and thank you who have joined in if you haven't joined in yet try it there's no time like the present do it so without further ado let's 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 talk a little bit about my experience this week uh, Monday Monday uh, a friend of mine who's from Canada was down here uh, he, well he used to live down here he came down and we all got together to have pizza at a buddy's house and I was like shoot I have this five for five challenge so I wrote my buddy I said I gotta make like something can uh, I make something on the side so I made this recipe I found where it was a piece of ham super easy put it into a cupcake pan and crack an egg in it crack some fresh pepper and salt on top of that bake it for like 12 minutes and then pull it out and then they had me make this like lime Tabasco uh, mixture and you sort of put that over the top. It was delicious and super simple. So that really worked. But I loved what, I guess what I loved about that was again my commitment, sort of that fidelity that I wasn't gonna just give an excuse and say, well, my buddy's here out of town. I'm, I like made it work. And I think there's something about that when you have that level of commitment to something. And you have this like feeling of success when you when you work it in. And it was a great conversation started with these four buddies who two of them were like I'm gonna try a five for five challenge once challenging himself to run in every day and another one was challenging himself to sort of pick up the pencil he used to love to draw and he's gonna try to draw something every day for five days I think that's pretty cool so think about how you're gonna like make waves in the lives of people around you when you take on something like this and you're you're public about it and you're okay to speak about it and you're okay to work it in any day then we get to last night. Oh, so last night I had my daughter and I was trying to think like something she'd like and my daughter's pretty good about liking a lot of things but she's seven so there's a lot of things she doesn't like. And driving home she was like let's invite our neighbor over so we invited our you know elderly neighbor over and we made a steak which that's not really in the recipe but uh, it was delicious. <laughs> and then we made fresh naan. Uh, I tried some new seasons on it. I tried this rosemary seasoning. Uh, that we made, really good, but I didn't count that as my new recipe. And then, boom, coup de gras. I made this such a delicious uh, corn on the cob Thai style. I have this book uh, that's all like authentic Thai cuisine. I love Thai, I've been trying to learn how to do more and more of it. And so, 
I got out this Thai grill, which is kind of cool. It's this, um, it's almost like a pail, I and mean, it is a pail, but they've cut sort of a hole in, and then they've lined with like terracotta walls, and they're all over Thailand, they're cheap. So I bought one a couple years ago. I think I got it online for like 40 bucks or something for this, this pail, but it's pretty sweet. So this, Recipe is amazing. Um, you boil the corn, then you shock it in some ice water so it stops cooking, and then you sort of coat it in this coconut, you make this, this sauce of coconut cream, uh, sugar, and salt, and you sort of, I don't wanna say boil that, but you cook it so that it sort of reduces a little bit. You pour it in a big pan, you roll these, these pieces of corn in this the sauce and then you grill it and then afterwards you take it off you can add a little more of that sauce to the top and then squeeze fresh lime juice over it it was so good we all were like commenting my daughter was licking her lips and asking how many more pieces of corn she could have my neighbor who has never had anything like that she's pretty meat and potatoes kind of person was just licking her lips and saying this was amazing what's all in this how do you make it and we were all amazed too because corn's not really in season but when you dress it up like that this was like seriously all of us were like this is the best corn ever and what I also liked about this challenge kind of the day two what I noticed about this challenge is it being food related uh, that's that's pretty awesome because that too brings people together and on a day that I had my daughter it was really fun to show her like the gift of like community and bringing our neighbor over the gift of coming around a table taking time the the gift of like taking pride in your food and trying to like try new things um, and then my, my, I'm always trying to get her to be a little bit of a foodie and a little bit of an Italian and be able to sit around a table. She's seven, but I want her to be able to sit and talk and relate. And it was so awesome. She kept wanting to show my neighbor things. Like, can we go on YouTube and show my neighbor this channel we watched or this magic trick I learned? But um, I kept sort of relating her back to like, we are here over this meal, use your words. And it was so awesome to see her process that and then conduct like a really good conversation. And our dinner, lasted, I don't know, probably an hour around the dinner table, uh, and it was so good. It was so fun. So I am loving this challenge, and I really just want to implore you to, to take on this challenge yourself, this five for five mini challenge, but try to do it with as much fidelity, as much heart as you can, and don't be shy about it. Talk to the people around you that you're doing it. Inspire them towards action. Uh, Right now, that's all I got for you today, but I hope that you guys take on that challenge and I will update you again, maybe on Friday, with my, like, how it all ended up. But for now, this is all I got. If you guys could smash that subscribe button, uh, hit the little bell if you want notifications. I would love it if you leave a comment down below, either how this inspired you and you want to do a five for five challenge yourself. If you want to contact me about any of those recipes, I'd be happy to try to get them your way. But uh, that's, you know, like we always say we're truly better together, but then we sometimes don't really build those communities with things like comments. Uh, I'd love to hear from you, and I'd love to hear how you're taking on the 5 for 5 challenge, if you want to put that down below. If you want to also tweet it, it's hashtag 5 spelled out, the number 4, and then 5 spelled out again. Love to see it. I know Andrew Easton's also doing it. Check it out. I know Stephanie Crawford's doing it. Check out her YouTube channel, too. She's pumping out amazing, great content. So, until next time, take care.